Hi, I'm Johan Maybeek. I am the cricket professional and sports coach currently at Framingham College. That's what I do during the winters. Um, I also still play for Somerset um, County during the summers. Oh, that's an absolutely magnificent strike. Oh, that's huge. Absolutely belted. Swept away. It sounds like the middle of the bat is the middle of the bat. Oh, same again. Same result. Fast hands, another six for Myberg. It's been a great experience being involved with the college, uh, obviously leading the winter program, uh, but really getting involved with college life. Uh, like I've said, this is my, my second winter, and I normally arrive in October and then I'm here until uh, end of February. Uh, this time around, I'm, I'm here until the end of spring term. I've had the opportunity to work with a lot of different age groups and a lot of different uh, abilities and it's a, been as much as I've hoped I've uh, been able to pass on some information to the pupils, it's been a great learning curve for me. My idea of cricket is, is, is a little bit different. I want, I want kids to play, uh, I want them to play, um, just have fun in the game for longer. You know, growing up in South Africa it was a lot different, our weather is fantastic so we hardly had a winter, winter um, you know, so we got back from school and the first thing we did was go outside and play sport. So when I do my coaching, especially with the youngest, I just try and get them to play and explore and, and, and kind of work out there and find their own technique and then try and refine it. Um, very good. Uh, obviously very fortunate here at the college. As we can they can do really good work uh, on a one-to-one -one or small group basis. Uh, and I can get, have regular contact with them. Uh, they also do group sessions during lunch times and, and activities and after school. So there's a lot going on for both boys and girls, you know, so it's been exciting for me to see, especially the girls, the, the turnout for the girls cricket, so it's been a very exciting winter. Yeah, lots going on, uh, there's new nets, you know, there's new side screens, lots of, lots of uh, time and effort being put into to the facilities here. Uh, there's also a new cricket field for, for the girls, um, lovely view of the castle. Girls cricket is, is a growing sport and uh, we need to, get, we need to keep, keep up with speed uh, in terms of facilities because uh, the numbers are growing. So um, yeah, lots are getting done at the college. Well, the MCC hub is a, is a great idea and a gr it's, it works very well. Um, it's obviously run by Chris uh, Gange, who's uh, head of PE, supported by Marcus, Robble and Chris Ferrant. So uh, there's a lot of skilled coaches um, at the college. We're lucky to have so many um, talented cricketers that are currently involved at the college, or whether they are teachers or, or games teachers. So, you know, there's a lot of knowledge in the game. And the, and the MCC is, is credit to those guys. Um, you know, uh, Chris is the manager of the MCC hub and he's done a terrific job and, you know, just gives pupils uh, from the local community a chance to get some quality coaching at a, at a good facility. Oh, what makes a cricketer? Um, it's very much like all other sports. Uh, I believe you need to want it. Uh, you, you need to have that desire to be want to be good um, because then you are going to do all the other cliche things like work hard, uh, you're going to be smart, you're going to ask questions, uh, you're going to want to improve. But for me, ultimately, it starts with desire. If you really want, want something in life, then, then you're going to make the effort, you're going to make the sacrifices for it because nothing worth it in life um, comes easy, you have to fight for it um, because there's a, there's a lot of people that want to be professional cricketers or professional sportsmen so uh, there's a lot of competition out there. Um, and then skills wise uh, these days cricket is becoming a very athletic sport, you have to be an athlete, you know, it's, uh, the game's changing, you have to be able to move, jump, throw, um, run, dive, um, you know, hit the ball hard but then you also need the other older skills from cricket. You need the, the nous, you need the, you need to know how and, and what you're doing out there. And hopefully the coaches here at Framingham College could, could help you and, and assist you in becoming a better cricketer. Yeah, I just I just want people to to really engage in the game, you know, try things. For me the most important times is the practice times you know that's when you that's when you're going to improve that's when you're going to make strides and then when you get to game time that's the time where you've got to enjoy it you know you've done your hard work you've you've 
you've done your learning, when you get to game time, you've got to go out there and express yourself. You've got to, you've got to play fearless cricket, um, but at the same time saying that, you, you've got to be smart if you, because ultimately if you're a batsman, you'd like to bat for all the overs. You don't want to sit on the side and watch. So, you know, you've got to be fearless but smart at the same time. But, you know, I'd, I'd like people to express themselves and, 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 and play without fear.